Hi ladies, this is part five. This is just more of a note for me so I know um, how to, uh, when I upload them, I know in which order to make them public. So um, I'm feeling a little stumped today on this, uh, I want to call it a folio. It's like a folio or flip book. Um, yeah, I thought it reminded me of a folio of a, a, uh, and a lap book. <laughs> so yeah, I'm a little stumped, but I thought if I turned the camera on, maybe I would, it would force me to do something with this. So I did do a couple things without you guys. I stuck this little piece of a guest check on the front and then on... This piece here, remember this piece that we did? I just punched two little holes on both sides, the front and the back, and then tied this so this kind of only goes down this far. And you can take it off to get into the envelope. And then it should, or you can untie it. You could pull it off or untie it and retie it when you're done type of thing. So I got that. And then I need some more of this over here. And I'm not sure what to do. Um, I have a couple ideas. This could be a pocket. So yeah, I have a couple ideas. Well... Not not really anything, you know, mind blowing. But <laughs> um, I was thinking, actually, this is really as far as I got. <laughs> oh, and putting this envelope up on this, the very top flap. So. <sighs> You guys, I'm so stumped on what to do next. And I'm hoping that having the camera on and bringing you guys with me will um, motivate me. So, let me see. Um, I will be right back. Okay, you guys. So, I have a little bit of an idea in my head. Um, I was playing with this uh, cupcake liner, um, but it's not going to be strong enough for what I want. But I was thinking if I put a shape like this down here and say I have one down here and I have one up here that could act as like a little tuck. Um, so what I'm going to do is move this. To the side and I grabbed out some pattern paper that goes with that same pattern paper I've been using and a circle that I think is going to be a good size now I need a pencil and I think I stole them all this morning um, let me grab a pencil I'll be right back yeah, I stole all my pencils this morning because I went on a little car trip and uh, wanted. I brought my journal and a pencil and some watercolors and stuff and um, kept my hands occupied while I was in the car. Okay, so I'm going to trace around this circle. Oops, I moved it. Great. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it? Maybe I should. Hold it so I don't move it. <laughs> it's gonna... Okay, it's not too bad. Alright. So let me cut that circle out. I'm going to try to do the best I can. I 
I don't know which line to follow. I like using long scissors for when I cut circles and when I try to cut a straight line because they seem to help me I don't I don't know they seem to help me more especially with a straight line they kind of guide you I don't know maybe it's just me okay not too bad not too shabby all right so then i am gonna oh one's gonna be oh that's fine though all right i'm gonna split it right down the middle or fold it right down the middle and then cut along that line And then bring our flip book back and let's see how we do. Yeah, I knew it was going to be a little, little big. I didn't know it was going to be that much bigger, but that's okay. Oops. And then this one will go like this up here. Okay. So I have that. So do I want to sew around them? Yeah, I think I'll ink around them and give it a quick stitch with some black thread. Yeah. Okay. Okay, you guys, I just inked these and then I had another idea. I'm going to grab my scoreboard and... I'm going to make a little score mark on the straight side of the of our half circle because I want to make these so that they can flip open. So I don't know how far I want to go. Um, maybe a quarter of an inch is good enough. Let's make sure that it's pushed up against their straight. Yeah, I think a quarter of an inch is plenty. Okay, so there's that one, and then we'll do this one. Okay, and then I'll just fold them. My paper went a little wonky. I don't know why I did that, but that's all right. Okay, so I'm just going to go stitch, and I'll be back. All right, so I got those. So let me bring this back. And they're going to go like this. So do I need to trim? I think I do. Just where it folds. Like that. I'm okay. <clears throat> I'm okay with that if that pokes out a little bit. It's not going to bother me, I don't think. I say that now. Put it me. Like that. Okay. So those can be 
we'll be able to flip out. And then I was thinking of doing the policy envelope thing. Putting one right there, one right there. <clears throat> I gotta ink this up though. And then do I want a little bit of a stamp on there or something? There we go. Okay. Do I want them kind of up like that? I think I do. So I can go ahead and glue this down because this will flip up and I'll be able to poke my holes through. Okay, so let's get them glued down. I know I need, didn't need to go all the way over with that glue on this side. Trying to see where the fold is because I don't want to uh, go too far on the fold either. I maybe should have went a little wider on my score line. Sorry, piece of hair. It must have fell off my head. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I got some glue on there. Darn it. It's okay. Okay, so that will go like that. And then we could put that... Uh, where did I put that envelope? We could even put this in there. Like that. <clears throat> so I'll just put that right there for now. What do I got for her? Kind of like these ones. Yeah, and I think I'll have them hang off a little bit. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're making progress. Those are not my brads. Where are my brads? I'm pretty sure I still have my all out. It's just hidden in the mess. Okay. So I kind of have to put my head up over the camera here. Let me put you down just a tid bit closer. So I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, so I think I'm going to go... I'm not going to measure nothing. Maybe up a little bit more right there. Okay. Get my hole in there. Okay, so there's that one. All right. Let's see. I 
try to go so easy because it it could be uh, so easy to push that through just a little bit too hard and make my hole too big. <clears throat> so I've been using these dark ones so far. So I think that's what I'm going to continue using. Using... You guys, I don't have much to talk about today. Not too much. Okay, this is not exactly in the middle, but oh well. At least it's on there, right? At least it's on there. Let me turn that sideways so they open. Sorry, you guys can't see. Okay, let me pull you back out a little bit. Yeah, I like that. I think that's cute. And I could just tuck that in there for... Just to say that I tuck something in that back pocket for now. And then we can put this in there. And then... Where'd I put my uh, crochet thread? I think that's what I'm going to use. And I'm just going to put a knot. I like to wrap it around a couple times and then knot it. Make sure I left myself self enough to knot it. So I tie it like that and then go around a couple more times. Like that. And I think that will hold on fine. So then it will go like this. Oh, I don't want to pull too hard. I think that's plenty. We don't need it to wrap around a million times. And then I'll just put a knot in the end of this. All right, well, we got that done. Now what? <laughs> hmm. I've been doing a lot of that. A lot of hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so what am I going to put on this? Let me open this thing up and see what I have to do here. Okay, I really like that. It, it still needs something though, doesn't it? Or does it? Well, it's getting kind of thick. I do know that. It's getting kind of thick. You know, I forgot to uh, ink the other sides of those. Because they're going to be able to flip down. like this and you can write on there and stuff hmm I 
I'm not going to do it right now because my mind's on overload. <clears throat> Okay, well, what about in here? Oh yeah, I had a piece I wanted to put up here. I just gotta cut it out of the uh, wallpaper. I wanted to make sure it was glued really good first before I cut try to cut it out because I didn't want it sliding all over the place. There we go. Get that out of the way. So I think that looks really cute in there and then the back will be covered so I was thinking maybe I could put that right there so it kind of hangs down from that but I'm not positive you guys I don't know for sure and how can I tie it all in when it's all open. <sighs> so I might just leave you guys there and have that be the video for today. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling stumped still. <sighs> Maybe it's enough, but I feel like I want to add more. That's my problem. I feel like I want to add more little, you know, things to it. But where I'm not sure, I don't want to keep you guys much longer. So, um, yeah. Okay. That's what we got so far. It's getting, uh... A little thicker now so I gotta be careful of that I don't want it to be I mean it's it's okay it's not bad I do have to make like or I'm thinking of making another like belt type closure or some type of thing down here so that's my thoughts and Okay, I'm going to let you guys go. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.